When we discuss matters of global security, there is a significant regional concern that cannot be overlooked, events that have transpired in the southern part of our region. From the outset, we did not intervene much. However, at a certain point, we did define our boundaries in terms of identifying who targeted whom and where such actions took place. Eventually, all parties involved engaged in testing and firing upon one another, some more than a few times. Nonetheless, it is without a doubt that Lebanon has become the primary battlefield where the highest amount of weaponry is being employed. This is evidenced by the ongoing missile conflict between Israel and Hezbollah. Recently, Hezbollah proclaimed that they have successfully hit Ben Gurion Airport. This location holds immeasurable importance for Israel, though the extent of the strike's damage and the impact it carries for Israel require thorough examination. It is imperative that we analyze an accompanying image to gain a clearer understanding of the situation, sir. Due to a rocket attack by Hezbollah from Lebanon, the area around Ben Gurion Airport was struck with one of the 10 rockets hitting its target. In question. Now, in those images, if it is in fact the case, if there is no other fiction, that it is true. This means Israel has launched an attack on an airfield using a Hezbollah rocket. While it is not expected that every rocket fired by Hezbollah will hit its target, even if only a small percentage reaches its intended destination, it is still considered a significant accomplishment for Israel. The Israeli army has reported that most of the rockets launched by Hezbollah have been successfully intercepted. Furthermore, Israeli authorities have confirmed that no casualties or injuries occurred during the incident. However, as a result of the attack, there have been delays and disruptions to some flights at Ben Gurion Airport. It is important to note that despite the inconveniences caused, there were no warnings of any imminent danger to passengers. If the absence of sirens in the area had caused concern, it might have been a topic of discussion for those affected by the incident. Hezbollah also announced that it targeted a military base in Israel south of Tel Aviv for the first time. In this sense, the functionality of the rockets it sent there is increasing. It has also announced that it used a large number of drones in the attack. 38 people have been killed in Israel in Hezbollah attacks on Lebanon. Let's say that too. Important statements from Hezbollah leader Naim Qasem about a possible ceasefire. Will there be a ceasefire between Hezbollah and Israel? There are no concrete developments in the region, nor have the attacks stopped. Israel struck the historic Lebanese city of Berbak in the Bekaa Valley. Dozens of people were killed. Over 50 others were wounded. Israel also targeted Beirut's southern neighborhoods. At least four civilian targets were attacked. Hezbollah announced that for the first time it targeted a military base near the Israeli capital Tel Aviv. It was stated that the base was attacked by a large number of drones. However, no details were given. As the mutual attacks continued, a pre-recorded speech by Hezbollah leader Naim Qasem was broadcast on television. Referring to the possibility of a ceasefire, the Hezbollah leader said that talks with nature can only begin if Israeli attacks stop. However, he also said that the conflict could only be resolved on the front lines and not through political moves. 